I know you're sports than that. I remember you worked for the A's. And, uh, what are you going to do about the Kings now you no longer call them the radio show? <laughs> you realize this is Ricky who used to call the radio show. And how old were you, Ricky, when you were I was that? 10 or 11. In fact, one of my good friends uh, who is helping us out next week is Grant Napier. Oh, and I was, this is a funny story. So let me just this guy loved, there. loved you. Uh, I know Grant, Grant, was, uh, <laughs> Grant was doing a show. 1999 was the year. I remember it was you know, summertime in Lodi. There was nothing else to do. So I call up KG10, which is the flagship station for the Kings. I mean, I Legally, you got to be 18 to get on. So, I mean, age is not, it's not the first time we're in front of the age. <laughs> uh, but we, uh, I called up, and I was 11, and I had some cogent point I wanted to make. And the screener said, you know, I, I suspect you're not 18. I'm going to let you go through anyway. So he slips me through. And that indulgence helped me out immensely. I got on the phone. I talked to Grant Napier. And, you know, next week he called me up and said, you know, Rick, I want you to come in studio. And so we, uh, we developed a friendship there. And he's one of those guys who, um, frankly, he's either on your case or he's a good friend of yours. And I'm in the latter category. So, but. Well, uh, congratulations on uh, taking the step. And, uh, you know, when you're willing to serve, that's really cool. You have a lot of support in our community and your family ties, and so we look forward to hearing more from you. Sure. Just one last thing, Mike. Sure. I encourage, um, because I think in a lot of these races, frankly, um, the treatment of issues is very superficial. I've noticed that over a long period of time where all you'll get is a soundbite or, frankly, a paragraph on an issue that's plaguing our, <coughs> our country. What I have done is, is poured some intellectual labor into this exercise, so feel free to visit my website. It's actually my first and last name.com, rickygill.com, and you'll see some of the ideas we've got to put us on a better path.